And what about Poland? Did you feel good to be back in Poland again? I think it always feels like home. Yeah. Going back. <laughs> they were like, oh, we can trust you now yeah. because you lived in Poland. So I, I think that's awesome. And it's always like, it connects you like outside Poland as well. Good morning, everyone. Today is a very exciting day because I will meet with Sana, my best friend from Krakow. Well, she's from Finland, but we met in Krakow when I was an au pair and she was working and living there. And then later I could stay over at her place many times when I was nomad. <laughs> and we will see each other after more than a year. So I will take the bus to Belgium. So come with me. Nice weather. <laughs> Look who it is. <laughs> This is Mauer, Mauer and Eck. <laughs> I know that statue there. You know it? I've seen it, yes. Oh. Whoa, look. So, Sana. <laughs> Sana told me that she didn't go into to the church on her travels because you have to pay for it. And I was like, paid to get into the church? But also this one. You have to pay 12 euros to get into the church. What is that? <laughs> This is Rinek. Oh, they're decorating the trees. We're a little bit too early because the lights are not in it yet. I didn't. I don't remember that I saw this. Because I was here when I was 16, but didn't see it. Yeah, true. Europe is full of castles. Which was the most beautiful one you have seen so far? Neuwenstein. Oh, you saw that one? Not on this trip, but I've seen it before. Oh, it's that's high on my list. Germany. Here we go. Look, there's a... I think we can go to the right. A random beautiful building. I don't know what it is. <laughs> so there was, there's this museum. But, oh. A cyclist is coming, but it's closed. It's closed on, on Monday. Monday. Yeah. I, oh, and you can go on the rooftop. Yeah, but we can't now. Yeah, we can't now because it's closed. No, they're cleaning the windows. Look, I'm with Sana. I think Hello. many, many of you do remember <laughs> Sana. I mean, I was in the very beginning of your videos. Lot. Yeah, we were it's so such good friends in Krakow already. We still yeah. are. But she moved out of Krakow one, one year ago now, approximately. Then we didn't see each other since. Yeah, you've been traveling a lot. And whenever I'm in back in Krakow, you're another day. Yeah. <laughs> That's difficult. what happens. She comes to Poland and I'm in Sweden. And uh, I was planning to go to Lithuania. But when you were in Lithuania, I was in Sweden as well, I think. Also Sweden. And then she told me she would be in Belgium. And if I would be close to Belgium, because then we could finally meet. Well, I was in the Netherlands, so I could easily take the bus here to <laughs> Antwerp. <laughs> yeah. Because it was only two and a half hours for me and for yeah, you. For one hour about. Yeah, so great. So we finally met. And she has been traveling all over Europe. So tell, yeah. tell us, which countries have you been to? So basically what I did was that I took the ferry from Helsinki all the way to Tallinn and pretty much came all the way down until Serbia and Bosnia and then I went to Croatia and now I'm going up again and heading to Paris. Yeah. I've been to a lot of places. <laughs> but I was wondering how you do that with um, navigating and everything because not every country is that good with the internet, right? 
Yeah, I mean, in the EU it's fine, but then like when you go outside European countries, you have to have like a SIM card. And yeah, yeah, the yeah. The eSIM is the best one to. Oh, you also use it? Which yeah, one? yeah, yeah. I uh, use Truly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really. Yeah, it's been very nice with like uh, with the coverage. <laughs> That's the sponsor of my video. <laughs> what? Oh, really? Yes, I was planning to talk about it with you, but now... Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, that's very interesting. I also use it's it. It's nice that you have sponsors, even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I also wanted to tell you that. But they are sponsoring this video as well. Oh, that's perfect. Well, well I don't have to... Great service. I don't have I to... recommend it. I don't have to advertise. <laughs> Sana is using it. She's traveling all around the world, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, but it makes it easier, like, when you can really use it in, like, many different countries, you know? So, easy is really easy. That's it. It True. takes, like, 10 minutes or something to get it done. Yeah, because she will also go to Brazil soon. Like, the yeah. other side of the world yes. again. Yeah, so it's really helpful to, to really have. Because you, like, as much as you don't want to rely on internet, it still also makes things very easy. Like, you use Google Maps or whatever you want to see if the restaurant is good yeah get and the get tickets and, and everything like so, so true uh, so true it really helps you a lot and what about poland did you feel good to be back in poland again i think it always feels like home yeah going back. <laughs> I, that's the thing that like the people that have lived in poland it stays it's, it keeps feeling like home somehow Every yeah, every yeah, person yeah. that I I think that's the thing is like you know how things are working. I was there for two years. I think you know I know the things very well and mm -hmm. some of the language even you know a bit. So um, and you know the people. It's it's easy to go there. You know you keep keep having that connection because for example yeah. she told me she was working in a hotel in Finland and then there was like a. Polish. Yeah, there was a couple that like uh, the the man was from Poland and the woman was from Finland and, and they lived <laughs> nearby Krakow. So and when she told them, <laughs> the woman started to speak Polish too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. So I mean, my Polish is not that good. <laughs> also, like when I haven't really been living there for a while, you know, you kind of lose it because but they you don't instant, really need it in they Finland, instantly so. felt a connection with Sana yeah. and instantly <laughs> yeah. trusted her. It was yeah, so yeah, funny. Yeah, they were like, oh, we can trust you now yeah. because you lived in Poland. So I. I think that's awesome and it's always like it connects you like outside Poland as well. Yeah, you know? I agree. There are a lot of Polish people outside Poland mm -hmm. so every time you say that you lived in Poland and especially when you live so long, yeah, uh, they really appreciate it, mm -hmm. you know. True. Okay, shall we go further? My arm is getting tired. <laughs> we have to drink a beer in Belgium. Oh, yes. I mean, it's it's the country of beers. So let's let's find one. Yeah. That looks pretty. Where are the lights from the Christmas tree? Sana, where are they? <laughs> it always, this is blue hour. I like blue hour. It's right after sunset when it's still not yet dark. But it's beautiful. Look, we're both filming. <laughs> oh no, you are making, <laughs> you are making photos. <laughs> Okay, which Polish words do you still know? Uh, dobra. Dobra. Dziękuję. Dziękuję. Do widzenia. Dzień dobry. Wow. Uh, that's about it. Yes, then Sana. Oh, yes. But do you still know how to count to 10? I taught no. you in... No, in, uh, no chance. No and chance. sorry? I forgot. No. <laughs> I taught her those things in Wrocław. Oh, yes. The first time you we did, went on did. a trip. I've forgotten almost all of them. Oh, no. I have to teach you again. Yeah. <laughs>